Uh-huh. 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 ATL. Be more in the house. Letting y'all know in wise in the house like what? Yo, James wanna supply VVCradio.com. We are back in the building. And yo, I have who is DJ Pill? Yeah, I'm here. All right. I've got, <laughs> I got April Love. Yay. And I have the gorgeous Morgan. Hey. All right, and I'm here too. So anyway. Boy, this show is so not about me today. It's all good. <laughs> Moving on. For once. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You can stop. All right. So uh, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Wiz Buffy, man. They just celebrated their five-year yeah, yeah, anniversary. Shout out to the big so. homies, man. You know, Yay. Shout out. Yay. Yo, it's hard to have a platform, and it's even harder to try to keep it going for Fact. five years straight and Absolutely. consistently do something every week. So salute those guys, man. Hard work pays off. Yo, y'all show is phenomenal. Let's I throw a celebration it. at Dorona over, y'all. Let's throw a celebration. That's a fact. Y'all Rona's is never going to be over. You just have to deal with it. It's going to be the new normal. So. All right, well, let's just throw a celebration, y'all. Let's Once do it, it becomes, Where's yeah. Buffy Podcast? Rona's Eric not Lounge. going anywhere. It's here to stay. Let's do Go. They put t- that together in the lab. Really good for you, bitches. Okay. So anyway, um, Ben Hunter Izzy got uh, what is that young lady's name? Zonique. Is that how you pronounce her name? Yes, Zonique. Zonique. I don't even know. I'm I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that is how you pronounce her name. Wow, Zonique. Whom is pregnant? Uh, Tia's and Tiny's oh daughter. Oh my! Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Well, they've been together for, they've been together for a while, for like minute. three, four they've years. Now. Okay, they've they've together live together and everything. Yeah. Okay, I can get, I can get with that. Um, so this is the very definition of you know when your girl is taking care of you, and you get her pregnant, and she's working and he's not. So. Dang, you know. Shout out. I mean, he's a rapper. I mean, shout hopefully out. he'll blow up one shout day. Out to Izzy. Yeah. I mean, but he, I mean, he's doing good. I he's think. into. I mean, shout out to Izzy. I fuck with yeah, but Izzy, he cool. I fuck with Izzy. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, he got a good one, yo. He got a loyal yeah. one out here. Definitely. I mean, he got, he got, he got money. One. They got money. Well, Tiny did that with Ti, so it's just recycling yeah. itself. So. Word. I'm just like uh, Ti has made mention of how he's not really into Izzy like that. <laughs> he's like, yeah, <laughs> he's like, it's when I see a nigga that's just like me, I. <laughs> I'm not really all right. that excited Absolutely. about it. Absolutely, it's just but recycling itself. She's saying he's saying that it's cool. They got a cool, you know, what I mean, rapport or whatever. But yeah. shout out to him, man. Hey, man, put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got a good one there, bro. Yeah, St- stand mm-hmm. up she's for a that really man. a good girl. You don't hear nothing about her. For she's real. about her. Like, she's really, she's a really, she's sweet too. She's, she's gorgeous. She, she really mm-hmm. cherishes you, obviously, because she stay putting you on her Instagram. So, bro, do right by mm-hmm. man. Don't, don't, don't do the Baltimore shit. Don't nigga, turn though. into a trap. Yeah, girl. don't let the Baltimore shit to follow you Please down to Atlanta. Don't stay your ass down there. So, the, marry the girl. You know what I mean? Get had ten kids. And this, stay he's still young. So you got a reality show. Listen to Ti. He's like twenty one. No, he's not twenty one. Yes. He is. is he really young. is. Like twenty, he's like twenty two. No, he's like twenty two. Like he's really young. Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah, all right, yeah. I need to prove. Like this man is like twenty two years yeah, old. Call him. Call him on the phone. I'm not gonna call him. I don't know that man. You know, you know, you got his number. Go ahead. Damn, call him. You got his number two. No, I don't know this man. <laughs> Damn. She was on his Instagram. You ain't seen him. Damn. Damn. Y'all love. Y'all love. Just playing. Just playing. <laughs> Do that. Did he know about that? <laughs> Do she know about that? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I don't know, but yeah, he's only like 22 or something. Damn. Yeah, because my cousin, God rest his soul, rest in peace, uh, really was hanging out, was like really close with Izzy, so. Oh. Yeah. So, moving on, Ellen uh, has is potentially canceled. I'm only saying it like that because essentially what has happened, she has a very large staff, which I had to explain to somebody. She has like 200 employees. Agreed. Her show is huge. massive, huge. and she is definitely a huge draw for CBS. Um, however, uh, it has been said that her st- her staff is constantly like in fear because the upper management is very dickish. They have a oh. lot of stuff going on. Um, and then there was things that they were saying that Ellen, they were saying stuff that it sounds crazy from the outside of the entertainment game. But from my perspective, I'm like, yo, I ain't tripping it hard. So they'll be like, all right. So the same thing was said about Steve Harvey. Yeah. So he's saying, yo, yeah. don't bother me. Don't be up in my face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give me space. That's pretty much what she be right. saying. Like, yo, stop eyeballing me. Stop running up on me. Ask me a whole bunch of crazy shit. Leave me alone. And it's because both of these people have massive amounts of responsibility. Right. And for you to come in and be crazy positive on television, yo, do y'all not understand how much you want? Most of y'all niggas can't even smile most of the time. So for, you, for this person to not only smile, but to come with like this super amount of positive energy and mm-hmm. project so much on the screen, Thanks. yo, it takes a lot, yo. So 
Yeah. I was. I, I'm not. And I believe me. I she white. Right. I really don't care. But at the same time, like she's a human being. I need people to really put some perspective on this. Being in the entertainment business and trying to keep this this one image 24 hours a day is very very hard. And yo, even the nicest people in the world have bad moments. That is just what it is. Now, her having a predatory staff, once again, you're in a bubble. They like as a super as a mega celebrity as she is, she is kept in a bubble, meaning that people don't bring stuff around her. She don't know what's going on. You fair, know what I mean? Fair. They float her in on a, on a cloud. She does her thing. She goes the fuck home. She don't know what niggas in in, in accounting is doing. Like she don't even. She but, don't even know who's But under your there. brand, you should be. You should be on top of that. I'm not saying correct, that every correct. day, all oh, day. Yeah. You should know what's going on. Like Back Oprah said. Yeah. Just like Oprah said, if it's a dollar, I need to see it to approve it. I don't give a damn what it is. I need to know what's coming out of my company and what's going in my company. I uh, need to approve uh, everything. I 100% That's agree true. with you. And hold on, hold on. What? And also, I just feel like you have to be approachable as well because those people are the people that makes it happen for you every day, all day. So, yes, you do want your space. You do want to be positive. You do want to have... This is why boundaries are important. But boundaries are people important. people be pushing but it. Like, people even, do push it, but they know the they are employees, so they understand what their jobs are so you still have to work with them and be approachable i'm not saying they gotta she gotta be all crazy nice to them but know what's going on with your staff and be approachable and allow your employees if it's a problem i'm not saying they gotta come straight to you but if it's something that's not being like discussed and resolved through staff they should be able to come to her and say this is going on this is happening and she should be able to figure out how to get that handled I, I disagree. because it's uh, right now it's affecting her too so that's all i'm saying yeah, i mean was when you I have disagree. a brand Everything you yes. like is like you have to protect the brand at all. Ex- absolutely, costs. You absolutely. Have to, and that and that's coming from an entrepreneur and myself. Yes, I, I am a brand, so everything that I it is like it's a you have to protect your reputation. I don't care. Yes, when you're a brand, like yeah, you can't just say the oh the staff brand. did it. Like you right, you can't you can't right. place something because you are when right. you become the face of a brand that is you. Nobody else they see no one else but, but you. you. But you and that's what they're doing your now. Your personal her. business is your personal business. Who am I to get between your personal business? However, but when you work for me, I'm holding you to the standard that I'm holding myself. I'm right. sorry, point that's blank. Fine. Period. You you can still be held to the standard, but I don't need to know that you. Mm, that you doing? Yes, I do because you know, now that becomes that, that, that's doing, now that becomes that effect. On your so let, life. Oh, so let me say this. That. So let me say this. All right, you have your brand. You have a known thief in your brand. Long as it ain't happening to you, you good. I gotta handle him accordingly, or that person. You're fired off the break. Yes, I gotta handle him accordingly. Get the fuck out. Because it's what me. affecting your what your brand. Because it, it's be stealing from me. Yes. But it's still affecting, right? Exactly. It's still stealing from me, yes. So, but, but if he's but stealing it, from somebody else, I don't give a fuck. Just don't bring but, that shit to me. No, no however, that's, that's affecting true. you because now, right. oh, it's a known, thief. it's a known fact. Now he's gonna think that she was, he was stealing for you. It affects your brand. It affects your brand. Yeah, you super bugging, bro. <laughs> that affects oh. your brand because yeah. now that because that person was affiliated, right. guilty by association. Facts. Yeah, it's Super real, facts. and that's like yeah. that. Why do you think some some companies call I'm um, signed non complete clauses? Yeah, yeah. Like, I used to work, like, I used to work, I worked for Verizon. I guess you're right. And I used to work for Sprint. I, had to, yeah, I didn't sign, sign one. one, but I can't, like, if I work for Sprint, I can't go fucking get no. all the information and go give it to Verizon. Like, no. Yeah, that's right. that's right. just, like, my job, too. I can't work for another airline because I work for Southwest. Right. So, so oh, shit, you know. we gonna be not. Uh, <laughs> right. We gonna have to holler at you later. Calm, calm, calm down. Nigga, we gonna have to holler at you later. You gonna give us some shit. Y'all bugging. You about to have a girlfriend out here. So, anyway, uh... Nobody want to be me. All right, so um, Pills, yeah, I think both of y'all out. made some really, really great points. Yeah, hold Thank you Pills. for bringing that up. Y'all live for that. Um, I wanted to bring up next. Uh, okay, this clip just came out. I saw it the day before yesterday, but it really just took fire today. Um, Jaguar, right? I'm not exactly sure if y'all are familiar with. I would. Lo- can you send that to me? I would love. I hear people keep talking about it, and I'm like, I need to see what the hell is going on. I'll definitely send. It's you like a clip. firestorm on social media. So she was talking to another young lady. Um, on uh, one of them streaming joints, right, right. and she made a statement about her being with Common, and him being like she was saying that they were after a show. So they were on tour. Mm-hmm. Common, obviously, is a headliner. She was doing background vocals for him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the time, they were sleeping together. 
So they were drunk and they were in an wow. a, a, a hotel or something. So she was like saying, well, you know, when a nigga trying to make a move on you and you ain't trying to make the move. So, you know, she was like, I know how to do this because I've been raped before. And she wow. was saying that like, yo, so I went to sleep and I kept my pants on. And she was like, yo, in the morning while I'm asleep, I keep feeling something pecking at my mouth. Wow. And she opened up my mouth and she was like, yo, saying that it was a uh, common that put his dick in her mouth. Wow. And she said his real names. Like, she said his whole real name. And then she was like, yeah, for y'all niggas that don't know, that's fucking common. And da 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 And then she was saying, then she went on because she started ramping up after that. And then she was just like, yeah. And that's why when he stopped dealing with me and started dealing with Erica, she hated on me. And yo, Damn. bitch, you know what it is. And then she was like, yo, he ain't never been right since uh, he stopped fucking with Lauren Hill. And I'm just like, wait a minute. We didn't even know about no wow. comment on Lauren Hill shit. Send so, that clip. To, send that to me, Jay. I got you. Yeah, yeah so, I need that too. Yeah, so, I need to see that. Um, and then she went on to say, yo, yo, why y'all think he ain't never had a good relationship? Um, he seen you see him with all these high, high profile Tiffany women. Hedges, yeah, that just came out. I'm sure Tiffany got a well, shoot. Ooh, which, well. um, she like dicks on her lip though, so it ain't gonna be a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh she told went. you. She yeah, all her comedy. Yeah, like I love dicks on my lip. I don't even be ready for that shit. Y'all be going wild. My bad. Go ahead, Jay. My bad. I'm That's just saying crazy. she like dicks on her lip. She would tell you herself. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's let's stay you focused on the. Uh, them that like dicks on there. So I I'm very interested in how really yet, though. Listen. the media have carried the, the, how the media is carrying this because they are not immediately going cancel this nigga. It's oh there are allegations. Because uh, everybody loves common. Right. I was like, yo, it's cute and cool how. The image wow, common. Like, they love the we image We like this comment. guy, so we're not going to cancel him immediately. Yeah. Even though she said this nigga full government name and his stage name. I'm like, yo. And then they was like, this might have happened. I'm like, yo, she just literally said it. Same now, thing. you canceled the shit out of all these other niggas from somebody just coming out and saying something. Like, not saying that. I, and, and I'm not trying to cancel common. Well, that's, that's because- I am only just trying to show that there is a huge disparity between people we like we pick and, and choose people that we, we don't pick like and choose. or people we may not be familiar with but their name comes out in public and we right. immediately go to the get rid of them let's burn them at the stake and Good you know comment, kill comment. but this was something that happened years ago doesn't make it right but what I'm saying is maybe because it happened so long ago 20 years ago mm-hmm. 20 years ago and then like she's just now coming out with the allegations just like with the Bill Cosby thing, 30 years later, you know, he's being convicted of stuff. So it's it's, it's kind of like, it's, that's real, that's a, it's a fine line right yeah. there. Okay. And it shouldn't be because, like, these are serious allegations. Yeah, very. And it's always meant for when the woman, the woman comes out, she's lying. Right, right. right. And that's not fair. Facts. Right. Super However, facts. Again, I'm biased. <laughs> so go. everyone isn't strong enough mentally. To deal with that. What you mm. mean? Like to come out early? Exactly. And then you don't want to be blackballed. You want to be... You and don't want to be... And it's not even well, out that... Jaguar you, Wright is already black. She's been blackballed forever, but go ahead. Really? But and then some... you. Yeah. But however... Oh, what and playing uh-huh. devil's advocates, because then you have some people who do it because they're miserable. Mm. So you think that she has a Pop- motive... Yeah, kind of so. Possibly, I don't know because I didn't. I don't know the story. I don't. I didn't really listen to it. Okay, but yeah, we got. Yeah, send us that. I'm just going off of experience, what I've seen, and that's how I'm drawing my conclusion on this. So basically, she's saying the whole time the female don't have a problem with it, but when something happened that they don't like, then they want to say something. Then they want right. However, because when some some women are like that, they be all with the shits. They give you consent because consent is with y'all. But we are both consenting adults, and if we're in a relationship, because that's many times when but I'm in a relationship. How can you consent someone when you sleep and you wake up and their dick is on your lip? That's not a consent. How, wait a minute. If we're like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go this because I'm gonna take you to a person. That's experience. not a consent. When I was in a relationship with someone, and they, they put your dick on their lip. Now, so basically, I if, if my <laughs> to let it marinate. <laughs> No, I'm saying. Right, case in point. Because you're next. Case in point. I'm here and go. If I'm, I'm in a relationship with somebody, if I'm ready to have sex and my dude is sweet, what am I gonna, what I'm going to do? You're going to put, I'm going to put, put my, I'm going to, right. But he's not consenting to that. But you're going to wake so, him up first, right? No, that's how I'm waking him up. There you go. Facts. So if, no. me, if we're, if now that's it's right. That's right. Lady, no, it's not rape. It's, but he, and then <laughs> he's going to wake up Say, to no, it's it, not rape. Because y'all and already he's gonna get into it. But if he's not with it, I've had some, I had someone say, you know what? No, not right. And I've respected that. 
I respect But was that their first time though? Was did she have she might have never but, but had they, but they already were sleeping together. They got drunk. They got right. drunk. They were right. already sleeping yeah, you didn't together. Say that. No, no, he did. Didn't. He, he did. did. He did. did say that. You said that they were sleeping together before. Yes. Yes. They were sleeping together. They were on tour. They got drunk one night. Fell asleep in a hotel room. Right. So again, you already consented. You consented. You're in. You're. You have a sexual okay. relationship. Okay. She just didn't. I think she was saying she didn't want it that night. She was not in the. She wasn't in the mood. She wasn't in the space. That's why she kept the pants on or whatever. Whatever. He was. He but was. they. They yeah. had a. They had a situation. So he was already under the impression that it was okay based exactly. on previous. So right. situations. He's done it before. And nobody said he did put his dick on her lip before. Shit, why not? He might have. I've got woken up like that plenty of nights. Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Lord. <laughs> Mm. So, this couch, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, so I'm saying, like I said, if I woke up like that before, don't I speaking from not, experience and then speaking not, from like different things that I've seen. So it's She's like, a liar. And, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the devil next to me right now. I'm not asking me to lie to me Yo, like that before. In my she life. is a female Aries, bro. It is a di- you. You dealing with a different animal, my baby. Never in my life asked somebody lie to me. Let me tell you something. A female. Besides Aries ain't letting you do nothing that she in. don't want to happen, bro. It ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening. I can believe everything she's saying. Like, yeah. You ain't never had a dick on your Nigga list. can't even pass gas around Sorry, her without permission. I'm like, nigga, you sir, did you ask because you passed gas? All right, calm down. See, she, she, she wilding. You know, she stay wilding. All right, girl. moving on, though. No, so, I, w- I want to get some real opinions about this. Like, yo, is this... All right, first of all, is this considered... I mean, is this rape? No. Because it wasn't like she said, well, well, he kept forcing me and I gagged on it. And it was just like, he did this. I woke up. I cursed the nigga out. Who the fuck you think you is? And I'm like, uh, all right. Bro. I feel like it was an overstepping. All right. It might have been like a. It's overstepping the boundary. An overstepping the boundary. Or. All right, I, I mean. All right, so I, oh, shit. This is this gray area that. that That's why that I said the fine men, line. Men as a community, we fine fought. Line. Bro, they, because the fine drunk, line. Because. So women. The fine all right, line. There has been a huge contingent of women who love these type of aggressive actions. But. In an instant where that person may be thinking a different thing, oh, which nor which is normally normal, That's now true. unbeknownst to you is a crossing of a line, That's and then true. you 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 did out here yeah, like because now it's rape. And I yo I am not the biggest Common fan. I only bought one two of his albums. Only okay, like, like one song. You bugging. He's got some classics. But you at know, the end of the day, of you know what I'm saying? Like, but he has done so much positive. He's been a super, super positive person. It's so annoying because the movies. And so has in, Bill Cosby. Is, I don't necessarily believe in Bill Cosby. But anyway, we can move right along. Like, ah, now know, we can move along on that, fucking on that fine line. I okay. Mean, I, like I said, I don't believe mm. in I, I just feel like, well, we going, we going, we really going to cancel comedy now? Nah. nah, they probably well, not. Common, well, it's, it's a shocker because Common appears to be the good guy. Yeah. In, so did a in, lot of them. In TV or in per, in, in front of you, and Common. Yeah, like, I, I've shit. never heard of any other bad allegations never against heard. Common. So but it might come out now. You know, it, now but it's right. Really now it might. Right. All it takes is one oh, and everyone yeah. comes what you behind mean? it. All it takes is 30, nigga, because that's how we got, no, that's how we got Bill out here. When one person comes forth, right, right, then you have a whole trail load of people coming. Yo. Yeah, right behind. Okay. Okay, Shit. so two R. weeks, Kelly, two you weeks see from now, now, two weeks from now, we got twenty allegations talking about comments stuck it in my ass, stuck it in yep. my ear, in, <laughs> like in all type of is, holes. How do we in. feel about my that? shoe? All types of shit. I mean, come I'm on. Just I like, woke up, he was fucking my toes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about? Like, it's some weird shit. Like, he come out with some weird shit, yo. He, and it's like now, I think money is the root of all evil. Oh yes, and it's been. now Damn. it's like. People will do some fucked up shit for some See, money. But you want your man to have yeah, money. See, like if you just allow a nigga to be broke, he'll always be honest. Facts. That ain't shit. Niggas broke and lie like every fucking day. So don't even go there. <laughs> so, what? What? so, so money's not the root of all shit. evil. Then. Shit, it is. Money will look. Yep. Mm, money will make your best friend turn on it's you. It's the people go that's there. evil for the money. Yeah, yeah, please don't have a flashback moment. We need to get through the rest of this show. No, okay, but no, I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, the people like money. Like money changes people. It do. It does. But it also, money makes her come. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it's a double edged sword. Look, she yeah, said. You know, so we do want. Yeah, so you want to you, 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 you want to come? It's a double. But you you know. However, but wait a minute, is coming evil? 
Yes, because mm. ah. that's when they're closest to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he ain't starts men in this shit. That's right, the right. orgasm mm-hmm. moment mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. Eyes rolling back in the head. I hate the both of y'all. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I hate the both of But I like it. <laughs> okay, finish your statement. I'm Moving sorry, on. man. I forgot what I said now. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All righty, then, Common, you've got two weeks. If you can kill off all of the chicks that got allegations on you, baby, you in the clear, baby. You know what I'm saying? I can make it happen. All right. Um, Common and go to jail. That's crazy. Yo, there's a bomb in Beirut saying it was a terrorist thing. Oh um, God, there's mad video crazy. clips of like yeah. people that's being at home and crazy. taking care of their kids wow. and so much crazy stuff is happening. Yeah. That was sad. I know. I've that seen a video sad. of like bodies oh my in God. the you street. Saw yeah. Oh, I crazy. saw the yeah. half wow. blown off limbs. I've, I've seen it. Seen and it. then wow. I saw the video of the explosion. So what they're saying it was a bomb with I mean not a bomb. It was a building fireworks. with fireworks inside of it and it exploded. Oh yeah. yeah. So it wasn't no terrorist. How does that what happen? Yeah. How does a firework mm-hmm. make a whole building do and that? It, but it looked like when the bomb like when it went off it looked like some world um, detonating. Yeah. Like like nine eleven type shit. If I can answer your question Fireworks are explosives. Yeah, they, are. they just take, they just use smaller amounts of it. So when you stockpile a bunch of stuff together, yeah, you, can blow, you, yeah. you, you can blow the fuck up a whole lot of shit for real. Honestly, if you stand too close to them fireworks, like a lot yeah, of those yeah. little smaller ones, if you hold it in your hand when it goes off, that shit will take your hand off. Okay, so basically you're saying someone set up the fireworks to do that on purpose then, because if you put a whole thing of fireworks together well, right. and it, purposely yeah. light it. Well, maybe it was a, a storage unit for fireworks or something. I don't, we don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the details. Yeah, of it. Okay. The only thing I know is there was an explosion, and yeah. I was like, and, and the saddest part is, I looked at it, the video, and I was like, oh, this must be something old. I didn't know it was like it's something that really. Just I actually there. thought it was fake. Prayers to the family. So it right. was families that were. Yes. yes. Yeah. There was some deaths and stuff like that. So like yeah. prayers to like everybody that yes. was caught in the midst of that. Yes, that's, that's truly sad. Word. Um. So yeah, I, I think that just about covers all of the the news or whatever. Okay. Is there anything else anybody want to throw out there that we might have missed? Or? <clears throat> Is it commercial time? Thank God. All right. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to go to a commercial yet. I, I just want to do one more break, and then we'll do the last segment, the 10 things. But before we do that. Okay. So apparently I put out a clip. You put out a clip? I put out a clip to promote Aries Lounge. And okay. in that clip. And what'd you do? I had a conversation with this beautiful woman right here. Oh, shit. April. And Pill, you were present as well. For real? Hello, oh. double tap. You're looking good, Shorty. Let me double tap that. So anyway, um, um, I don't even remember, but shout out to her. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I got 50 comments, and I appreciate every one of you guys' comments, and I kind of want to show everybody love, but I can't. So anyway, so in this clip, uh, and you can go back and watch the last episode of Every's Lounge. You can get completely caught up. Thanks. I. What'd you do? This guy opened up about mm. a practice of mine when I meet a young woman and uh, or an older woman doesn't matter as long as she's a woman over twenty one and of consenting age and completely and totally legal. All right, with the disclaimer, <laughs> hey, I just got killed you last week. Sure. I, you look at all these comments, my nigga. You like, all right, sure. so like, let me make you sure. Make sure. I'm one hundred percent here. I gotta what? make sure. I'm not. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, because of. Varying bad experiences I've had in the past of women taking advantage of me in, 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 in various ways. So when I normally meet a woman, I make a statement before we go on a date, in which right. I did say that in the video. May not have been in the clip, but it was on the main video. Now, before we go out, I make the statement. I have a budget. If you exceed this budget, you are indicating to me that you would like to engage in sexual acts and nastiness with moi. <laughs> That's what I said. Totally yeah. disrespectful. I totally said, disrespectful. And I said also in the last video, not the clip, but in the full video, if you go back if and watch that episode, watch it, if you watch it. this, instead of just the clip, that if you don't want to go along with that, you cannot go on a date. Facts, or facts. you have the option of staying within the budget. So after I said these humble and and very <laughs> protective things to protect myself from the from the <laughs> inappropriateness from the, of women that, from from, from being taken advantage of, of these vicious and vile individuals <laughs> out here who do not care about my security <laughs> as a man evil. and my financial security. No, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Me just trying to have a situation where I could protect myself because we have to from these people. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said it do? in confidence yeah. and in just a way where I was just trying I was trying to open up to a friend pill 
I understand. I was trying to I open understand. up and be vulnerable. No. And in a and moment. Don't work for a female. You can't be vulnerable around a female. Right. They don't and, and, I'm vu- and I've learned that. Yeah, they don't understand. And, and that this well. moment of vulnerability. His way of thinking is trash. Trash. It's just like female. Completely disrespectful. Trash. Everyone's, I'm not going to say everyone's, but most, most, most. most. <laughs> People's way of thinking is trash. Yeah. However, but I can't, problem. yeah, you know. But I can't fault, but that's his opinion. We can't fault him for it, but however, we can only counteract his argument with the truth. I agree. And facts. The All truth. Right, go ahead. Give me. The All truth. right, so based off of what I just said, you know what I'm saying? Let me go through a couple of them. Now, I'm going to go with the one I most agree with. Okay. Wow. Shit. I wonder why. Why not? Why not just go? You should go with she the one that not. truly says the truth. <laughs> Facts. Um. All right. So my homegirl Neffy, you know what I'm saying, who's uh, from Baltimore. She's an MC. She's dope. Y'all should check her out. Neffy. Neffy raps. Mwah. She's down in Dallas right now. You know what I mean? So yeah. Doing hot dizzle. Shout out to her. She jumped in the comments and said, "Yo, you nigga, you don't even want my opinion." And I was yes. like, nah, queen. Thank you, Neffy. Nah, queen. Thank I want you, you to give me, the, give me the raw. She felt the way I felt. Yeah. So. Don't put no condom on y'all. Let's do it raw. Let's do it raw. You know what I'm saying? Drop that raw. So she said, "All right." Con them off with let's go. So she said, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she said, My first thought is never a good idea to equate any amount of money to uh, to a woman's vagina for, for JJ. She didn't even use the word vagina, she put like a little cat look symbol on there, right? Not because she's not nasty like that. You know what I'm <laughs> she's a lady, she's a lady, you know. I'm like. I'm alive. Don't, so don't you do that. I am 100% a lady. Don't I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you. Definitely a lady. Don't mess with right. you. You know what I mean? She said, when you do that, you objectify right. the female. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You're the you, reason why women out here getting raped. You with that condom. Yeah, 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 she should never be objectified in that way. If the feeling is mutual, spending money on someone you like should not be an issue ever. If you dating, I mean, if you dating is not in your budget, either you got to get creative or not to do it at all until the time is right. So- Sometimes getting creative and being thoughtful <laughs> will get you some ass way faster. How then much a hundred dollar budget. Woo! Speak it. She so said, I, "Bruh, it sounds like you tricking." <laughs> and that's and exactly that's what he was doing. Yeah. I was not tricking. That's tricking. I'm not tricking. You are. So, first of all, I want to say thank you, nephew. You were the first person to articulate this whole thing in a in a. In a oh in a wait way. a minute! Hold up! Hold up! No, you hold don't up. even start because you were wait totally. Wait a minute. So what you trying to say is 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 that when I said it. We didn't agree. Go back. You didn't even watch. I said, I, said, I know you didn't go back and watch it because we did not agree on nothing. You kept saying, all you're trying to do is get her to have sex. And I'm like, no, not. I'm trying to protect myself. First I off, just... I did watch it. Mm-hmm. And second of all, mm-hmm. I did say that. But you didn't agree with me because you just didn't agree with the shit at the time because you felt deep down in your soul of souls that your feelings were right. But maybe it no. took Nephi. To come and, and set and set mm-hmm. it straight in a way that you, you probably did feel mm-hmm. like okay, well, let me consider it after days later of rethinking and all these people coming at me real because crazy. In her statement that she huh. made, there was no saying of yo, you just trying to fuck, son. No, she did. She said she yo, did say what that. you're saying. No, she's saying it'll get you some it vagina sounds like faster. You're just, it sounds you, like you're tricking. And I did none. Yo, that's what she trying was saying. To what fuck it sounds is like. Tricking. You were saying that's what I was trying that's to do. Like what the There's a difference between is. what it sounds like and what I'm trying to do. You were saying, yo, what you trying to do is, and I'm saying no. I kept saying no. I, it's not about vagina. It's not about sex. It's about me protecting myself and my finances. And you kept saying, no, you just want to have sex with her. And I'm like, no, because really, if that's what it was, I didn't say you just want to have sex said, with her. I didn't say that. I said, mm. I asked you. I said if she has 101. If she spends 101 dollars, mm. and she says, well. I'll have sex with you. You said, I said, is that okay? You said, yes. I said, well, if she does the same thing and said, I don't want to have sex, is that okay? You said, no, it's not. I said, so basically it's more about the money then and not about the date itself. If you blow the budget, if I come to you and I tell you I'm on a budget and then we go out and you blow the budget anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, let's remove the sex component out of it. That's some disrespectful shit. No, that that I agree with because that's some disrespectful now, shit. That so, I agree with. Well, now, now let's put the sex part back in there. But if we have a discussion, but that, but that doesn't mean 
That does not mean. No, no, no. Let me finish my statement before you turn me into a rapist. I'm not. Hey, I don't say that. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. If she don't want to have sex, then no, we're not going to have sex. But I'm getting your ass the fuck out of there. I'm never talking to you again. And that's fine. You have every right. That's right. What I'm that's what I, and I said that. But he didn't show that in the clip, so no, you have to you have to clip. see more of what I actually right, right. said. Let's go back and watch the last time. So I want to continue because some other women um, made some statements, including Morgan. I did, and, so look, you're, and yourself. And Morgan said I'm straight. Wanna, I do want to say I agree with Nephi's statement, but you gotta understand. No, you don't, because you ain't said it the first time. Shut the hell up. You gotta understand the difference between <laughs> actually liking gang. somebody and somebody taking advantage of you. Yeah. You got to. You got to. This is why I feel as though people need to be more creative with dating. Go go kart racing. It's not even. Then I said that too. Y'all always want to go to this most expensive relationship. Okay, that's fine. Hold on, Pill. If I may, ma'am, I don't mean to cut you off, and you 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 are one. He don't mean to cut you off when he cut you off. But go ahead. Thank you. So. Morgan, yeah. Dylan, you are a wonderful <laughs> and different type of young lady. So go kart racing would be an, an awesome thing to do. However, w- as a forty-one year old man, and this I'm dating a forty-one year old woman, and I'm like, come on, girl, <laughs> we about to go go kart racing. She but I, like, yeah, it's just an example. This is why you have conversations to find out what people like. If I right. tell a man that I like to read, Ooh. a date at a bookstore would be like, oh shit, he listens, he pays attention. It's in the details. <laughs> Did ass like if you listen to it, like if you get is to you know want, people. Is you gonna say anything in my defense, April? You just gonna let all the that ride. Was, the look was priceless. The look. <laughs> April, April, Real life. April, so now we go to the bookstore. Nah, 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 fucking nah, ridiculous. Nah, 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 we gonna go to the library. We gonna go to bookstore. Don't worry about. But you get what I'm saying. It's just somebody that pays attention. I 100. percent But let me tell you what these chicks. Let me tell you what these 40 year old chicks are saying. Well, you say, Yo, what do you like to do? I like to travel. You know, I ain't been to Bogota in a long time. I want to go out to. So yeah, the first, the first date. Let's go to the airport so you can watch. These planes come about to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Said, you like, yo, right. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Travel. Yeah. Now watch these niggas get on this plane. Yeah. This, is, this is a great day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, what else do you like to do? You know, I like really. I like food. I'm a foodie, lad. Yeah, yeah let's go to the most expensive restaurant. But yo, this ain't even got the best food. But we can go. No, nah, no. Nah, let's go no. over here to the two hundred dollar plate joint. Nah. But it's all good. No. Why you get to know Just don't equate thing. the date with sex. Just tell them where you at and what you're willing to do and what you don't want to do and just leave it at you that. don't tell nobody what you're willing to do especially women because they're going to want well, you everything that you front. say that you're willing to do give you tell your expectations you cannot be up front with women you cannot tell women your expectations Facts. all of these things you cannot do when you're dating Facts. you want to know why that's the fastest way for you so to you want to mislead them you want to mislead you don't them it's not, it's not no, about misleading you, it's about you, just doing what you want to do if you're not with it you're not going to do it right however but like, now and i'm gonna say this because Facts. my tell them. mindset going into dating now is completely different than what it was five years ago. Okay, go ahead. Go right. Ahead. So growth, and it is growth. What I'm used to is niggas already like me going out, automatically claiming me, wifing me up. Really? On an after a date? Not even they a date. A not over? even before that. Like conversations or whatever the case may be. Niggas have a conversation and put the ring and on. I'm not gonna say put a ring on. Like they oh, okay. they made it like I right, I want you. We're exclusive. I'm, okay, got gotcha. you. And you like just go along sex. with that they shit. I'm not going to say I'm going along. I'll be, I'll be like, all right, okay, that's what you want. But I'm still doing me until I feel like, oh, right, you know what, fuck it. You might as well. I'm sp- oh, they, wow. they, they claim my time More. before I can be like, you know, whatever. More. Like that's my baby father, case in point. Met this man, was the government for five years. So me going into dating now, I'm doing something completely different. Mm-hmm. And I'm used to people telling me they intend what they want from me up front. So. I like that. However, you're only going to get what you want. Right. And when you get what you want, sometimes you don't even really want it. Right. Mm. So. That's interesting. You get what you want. You don't really want it. Like, if I tell you, Pill, all right, we dating, I want this, this, and that for you. You're only going to give me what I asked for. That's true because I'm a male. No, she let her, she going somewhere no, with this. Let her, hold on, hold on, let her. Male. It's cause you're, you're, uh, because you're, you're not going to do anything else but what I asked for. Right. Correct. Now, Correct. wait a minute. Hold on. I want more, right. but I only told you mm-hmm. what I wanted. But mm-hmm. now I want you to, if I tell you, all right, Pella, I want you to pull out my, I want you to open my door. Mm-hmm. I want you to pull out my no chair. No problem, because now that's a new list of instructions you're giving me that I'm going to do. If you tell me but that's now what you're you only want. Going down, but, if I didn't, but if I don't say, oh, I want you to fold my napkin, you're not going to fold. not going to fold your napkin. Because I didn't tell because you. Because you didn't say it to me. Exactly. Because I'm male. <laughs> because I'm male. 
he he no he's, you well, I hear what you saying but so, he's he's telling you how niggas think right that's but so I'm saying with dating you can't tell someone your expectations because but they you only assume gonna, that men are gonna go wider in their focus to not, try to how, please I mean, and that's just not how we operate this is not how that works. and I know that no you should tell somebody your expectations for that date okay, though so let for me, that date no I'm not gonna say but I can tell you because sometimes women they tell you what you want and they don't even want it like damn you doing this but that's right. not what I really okay want. so let me jump in all right this is the this is one to clarify my statement all right I feel like. Women should set the standard, meaning to tell a, tell, tell a man what you want. Right. A man should not come at a woman and tell a woman, yo, this is what I want. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Only because that everything that that man wants is going to change once he falls in love with that woman. You know what I'm saying? Because he could just be here just to enjoy himself. But he'll end up spending time with you and fall in love with you. That's yeah. how shit works. Or he could come in there and fall in love with you out the gate and then fall out of love with you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you're giving too much too soon. Facts. So I think it's when people should take their time in getting and date multiple people. And just because you're dating multiple people doesn't mean you're screwing them either. Right. Some people don't know how to date. Right. And then on top of that, women have a tendency to take things that you say and then turn it into other stuff. And make up stuff. stiff in right. their head so, and be like, wait, this is not even what this They hear what? one right. And, and really com- and they so, conform it to their brain to what they yeah, want it to right. be. So yeah, let me give you a prime example. I know. I'll give you a prime example. And this has happened I've, about 10 times before I learned to keep my mouth shut. So happening. I'll go out on a date. First date, second date. And they'll be like, yo, the co- question will come up. What do you want? And I'll say, I eventually want to get married. I've noticed I said, I eventually want to get married. Not, I want to marry you, or I want to get married tomorrow or next week. So then when I say that, they go, oh, that's cool. That's great. And then... Every time we get into a disagreement, the first thing out of their mouth is, yo, just because you're trying to hurry up and get married. I never said I was trying to get married to you today, tomorrow, next year, or whatever. You know, um, I mean, you want to call me all the time or you want my time and uh, you just trying to rush things. And I'm like, that's the reason why I had to learn to be like, let me shut my fucking mouth. Just keep your mouth shut. And I say nothing because anything I do say is going to be equated to anything that happens. You want it's to be against so you in the corner. Right. But you Jay, I get that part. I just want to say this real quick and I'm done with that. Let's be lit. All I'm saying is this. I, I get it for that. There's certain things you pick and choose. But for as far as a date, as far mm-hmm. as a date, with your expectations on that date, it should be there known. Shouldn't be ooh, ooh, ooh. There shouldn't be any. And, and that is there a great statement you, you just made. You don't have to go into... And well, let me tell you, the success, my success rate on dates have gone through the roof once I got to the place of I'm going out to have fun. Mm-hmm. I just want to go out and have fun. Mm-hmm. I don't have any, I don't, I'm not, I'm not worried about learning about you. Fair. I'm not worried about uh, whether or not we're going to fall in love. Exactly. Or, I'm like, yo, I want both of us to go yeah, out. Perfect. And I do, and you're right. That is something I do say. I'll be like, I would like to take you out. Yo, I just want to go out and have fun. So where can we go? Or do you have any ideas on what we could do that'll just be fun? Or, or where can we go where we could spend within the budget? Yeah. You know <laughs> One new thing I've learned is obviously even getting well, ate like up in the comment section. Let's not even talk about money. Let's just keep whatever. So what you do is, and, I, and this, is the, this is the thing I've been thinking about. Don't mm-hmm. order nothing until she order. <laughs> so when she orders $65, just get you some water and a little piece of salad or something. And then when they say, yo, you're not really hungry? Nah, just have a salad. Just have a salad. Can I have a little lemon? Like, I just order the whole goddamn menu. Yeah. So that way, you know, she, you know, that's right. I, I've just learned. Don't say nothing to women about nothing. You don't, matter of fact, just speak another language, my nigga. Because that's the only no, way you love have to communicate, though. No, you do have to I am going to communicate. I'm going to tap on the table or I wave a napkin or something. But like, yeah, let's just, cause let's not do nothing. <laughs> Put a sign up. Right, right. Don't tell them your hopes and dreams because it ain't never going to be good enough. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never. Nothing you know. No, it's certain women that's grown enough to be able to do that with you and not feel some kind of way. And when I find some of them to get them on the show, I'll have them on and they can teach me what's going on. Okay. Matter of fact, we can have a dating show. Let's have a dating show for Jay. Me and Morgan gonna find some. We've had this conversation fifteen times. <laughs> no, you did not. You did not. Y'all have never done it. Was it. Another show they tried. We're gonna try some. Have some oh, potential women. That, some, good, some good. Some uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Somebody. One of my radio shows did do that. And they brought the most, they admitted after the show was over, like, <laughs> yeah, she is got, like, kind of dysfunctional and she got some issues. So I'm like, so why, why would, would the fuck would you try to hook me up with that? the person that's dysfunctional? Damn, they didn't say that when I was in well, the No, when the camera was off, that's what they was like. Me and Morty mm. are definitely going to, like, you know. Mm. 
What's it called? Don't you, find, when you yo, uh, don't bring no ugly them. ass four bitch in this joint. All right. So anyway, let me get back to me getting dragged on the internet. So um, <laughs> dragged, <laughs> completely dragged. dragged. All right. So a uh, uh, beautiful young lady named Danny. I'm sorry. She, you're not beautiful. You're just a human being. So this human being named Danny the Queen said, "No one is obligated to have sex with no one, no matter how much you spend on a date." Okay. No one is obligated to engage in nothing sexual if it's not agreed upon. And right. I agree no with one should feel pressured either. I agree with that, Danny. At what point Thank did you, I Danny. ever pressure any individual? That is pressure oh, when you tell somebody, so. oh, you ain't fucking. It is not pressure. Danny, you, it's it's hell. you have right, options. Right, I got you have a million options. Choose one. If you don't want to have sex, before. choose the option. No, I don't. I'm going to stay my ass in a budget. Or I don't want to go on a date. Yo, I don't like this. I don't even like what you're saying. So how about, yo, we just call this off, have a good evening, fuck you. Or do whatever chicks say. Let me call you right back. My homegirl call. Never I'm going to call you right back. And never call never back and never call. answer the phone when you call. There's a thousand different ways you go. No, you only feel pressure because you heard the word dick and vagina and now your fucking head exploded. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking it. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be in control of everything and you want to dictate when everything is going to happen and when it's going to be said. And because I took control of a situation, now you feel threatened. Get the fuck out of here. He I is, never said he you didn't really have options. Venting. He's really venting. Yes, he? yes, yes, I am. Because, yo, all these fucking comments of ridiculous shit where we are fucking adults. Why don't you listen to what the fuck people say and Facts. just choose an option, my nigga? Facts. It's their and opinions. And yes, I'm going to get killed again on the social media. I don't give a fuck. I'm so sick and tired of niggas not being able to fucking have a joke or make a statement without being turned into a fucking monster my nigga like, it's okay jay it's just it's no, their it's opinions okay. it's, it's their opinions I'm and it's a, yours i'm so. a nice fucking guy dog <laughs> i've been a nice guy my entire it's life teddy bear. I, and niggas you just come at me like yo you didn't upset the teddy okay. bear yo, you know, kiss my ass huh? you know, <laughs> he, he, knew, he knew what was coming with that whole <laughs> controversial <laughs> teddy bear. He knew what he was doing. and all of you niggas that jumped in the cons and, and co-signed on some y'all some turn cold ass no no you didn't. I supported Oh, we know your movie. ass ain't <laughs> co-signing. I mean, he ain't said shit for real. He was just like some, ooh, wow, this crazy. No, I didn't. <laughs> yo, yo, what you I say? I actually said some shit. Let's go find Yeah, go find it and read it out loud for everybody. <sighs> we don't want to hear what I go through a lot, say. Morgan. I really go through a lot. And then, and here go, look, 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 here go April at the very end to pile on top. Let me just reiterate <laughs> what everybody else said. Jay, you ain't never been shit. Thanks. Jay, you ain't shit. Thanks. I concur. <laughs> Thanks, That's April. That's what I did. I concurred. Thanks, April. I really, really appreciated it. You know? Comments. Man, you know, I thought that there was a moment there when we had a friendship, but we nah, did. No, it's but not. you it's know, not. I gotta it's be real with you. I gotta tell you the right, truth. Okay, I can't, right. you know, sugarcoat shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, no. I want to shout out Jay Hill for being the first comment and him oh saying, my God. "Ooh, this is not going to go well." <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks <laughs> Jay Hill for all your support. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Hill for all your support, Thank you for bro. Everything that you do. Okay, so this is what Pill says. So looking. Feel like the, what? So looking. I told you don't read pill like, shit, y'all. I told the, you don't uh, read this shit, y'all. That, that's why the conversation is had. Just go next. If you don't like you, you uh, don't <laughs> go anywhere done. with me. <laughs> Obviously, from the start, this is not going to work. <laughs> what? So well, I told you don't read his shit. So anyway, like, I gotta read the one from my big sister. My big sister said Hooked this. Hooked on phonics works for me. It. All the way from Florida. She said, man, sit your disrespectful ass down. Yes. I can't stand men that think that anyone owes ass or anything. But sis, okay, and then she goes on. Further, if you see a female as being disrespectful to you just to order random expensive shit on the menu, and you can obviously see what she's doing, why would you still even want to smash the type of individual anyway? Because I I just want to get my money's worth. So anyway, um, <laughs> and then come to find out it ain't even worth that. It's not. It's probably not. Uh, right. disres uh, disrespect and inconsiderate on all levels on both sides. Oh, so you gonna put me in with her? That's fucked up. All right. Already sounds like a dead end and head for disaster. Where is the good time? I have no idea. I've I've been asking myself that for years. Uh, where is the getting to know you person? Women don't want you to get to know them no more. Nope. I mean, well, they want you to get yes, to know them, but do. they don't give a fuck about you. You. I have never had a woman ask me a question ever. So anyway, um, the whole process of That's getting to know that. Don't oh, believe him. He's lying. April, you only do that and then you cut me off and then start talking about yourself for 45 minutes. So anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> the whole process of getting to know that per that other person now just all about. You only mad because it's true. Uh, getting yours. Shake my hand. I can really keep going. Next time, put me on the panel. 
uh, she's like, put me in the game, coach. I got you. I'm, I'm definitely going to put you on the panel. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, in conclusion, I'm wrong. 100%. Apologize. It to was some, um, huh? Apologize. To who? All the ladies. I don't For think what? you're wrong, though. Apologize, Jay. What? All right. I don't think How should wrong. I do it? I don't think you should apologize. Get on your knees. No, what? That's a little, <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> that's a little excessive. Yo, Aries, calm down. I don't think you Damn it, yo. You need to apologize. Baby, baby, baby. I think it was, I think baby, it was the way baby, it was please. phrased. You know what? Um, I think it was the way it was worded. Okay, so I will say this. The funny thing is three of... Three of like six of, of my exes <laughs> reached out to me after that posted, and they all said, "You stupid as shit. Why the fuck did you say this out loud? I see what you're trying to say, but it's not going to go over well on the internet." Right. <laughs> so, the people that love me know <laughs> that there was no malice intent behind this, you know. And obviously, they were good people because we ended up being in relationships. So, but I will apologize to those women. I may have had the conversation to and they did not understand what I was saying. And I will apologize for, uh, and I think it's very important to do this. I apologize for, I'm trying to find the words to say this, like for turning vagina into a thing. I never said that to you. Shut up. I said apologize to me for putting me through that dumb ass shit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know on the internet. What is you talking about? Like, no. You I had to, you, I had apologize to apologize sit- for objectifying the pussy. Yeah, you sit through it. That's I had to sit through that shit. Objectifying. <laughs> With these two two well known. I don't nobody know me. Nobody won't know. Assholes, me. like I shit. Nobody know me. I deserve an apology. I feel like women deserve better. I, I deserve. I apologize. I, I apologize. deserve. And I hope you ladies to want be to love. To be love. I just, I just wanted to protect myself. <laughs> And obviously, it's not. It's You're not doing possible. a great job protecting yourself. I, I, obviously, I, because my rent is paid. But still, that ain't got go. nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Uh, there's better ways to go about it. So from this point on, <laughs> listen, he's doing a good job of protecting himself. He got to protect himself from the bullshit. I'm that's sorry, a fact. It is what it is. Uh, I will find another way. Of, but like, okay, so I got one little. I, I, I want to go, and, and this will be the, and then we're gonna end this and go to the commercial. Nick, from Not Safe for Is, okay. said this. He said, yo, you need to vet the chick first. Vet. So vet means investigate to find out who that person is okay. and what they're about. Okay. So he's like, so for I said. For a date? For a date? Th- no. Nick, sit well, I, your ass down. Oh my God. Hey, 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 Aries. Chill. Oh my for real. You don't you need to really, investigate nobody for no damn bugging. date. Uh, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Morgan, please. Let, let I not agree. Let sanity go crazy. Because, first of all. I'm not gonna say every, even though every story that you may hear may be true or not. Right. But you're gonna ask around who is shorty. Of course, that who is shorty. That's investigation. That's investigation. That's vetting. Okay, but here's what I'm saying. So, you ain't gotta get all deep down into the. No, but then, but I didn't say look up her first and last name. No, right. Right. You're, you're gonna number. ask. Right. Like, you're gonna you're gonna ask like, all right, who's shorty? Then it's gonna like, all right, because you already see like, all right, I can see me. I don't know how. I gotta figure out which direction I'm going with shorty in. You know if you know whether or not you want before you even go on that date before you even ask that person. Absolutely, that's if you want to go. With you that do the investigation that's first. That's all I'm saying. Wait a minute, hold on. Well, right. Right. Now, now in the land of you social media, now in the land of social exactly. media, now and with with Instagram and everything, everybody is in one place. At first, before you had this, okay, then you had before the land of social media. Yeah. yeah, then okay. Well, like you you see people out or whatever, you still ask who is this? Yeah, of who is that? Who is that? You did your investigating. Then you know, like, all right, if you hear the same thing over and over again, you might not be like, no, nah, I ain't gonna fuck with Shorty. But then again, right. you might go find out to see what it's about for yourself. But then you'd be like, all right, you okay. know, based on Morgan's Instagram and her Facebook and her uh, uh, Snapchat. If I want to even ask her to go on a date. No, you don't investigate to figure out whether you want to ask them out. It's investigating to find out whether or not there's somebody that's going to take advantage of you. And, and, right. You're going to learn intent. there. You don't right. know that. You do. You actually can. Exactly. Exactly. You can. You exactly. actually you can find that out. They can seem like the best person, Mother Virgin Mary. On Until you go on that date. But then that's, okay. but then you, but right. you, you vetted exactly. the person, it but then you know where to take them. Now you know where to take them. you up. I'm a nice little dick in the freezer, oh my and you'll never be seen again by your Don't friend. forget to say that on the microphone, please. <laughs> yeah, you, you, no, I'm but no, you, 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 you just to talk to you, Jay. Okay, thank you. I you bet the person that. to figure out where you're going to take them at. Me. Yeah, that's what's up. I think that's what it is. I'm cool. If, if, a, if a person kills me while we're on a date, I'm going to be dead, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, at the end of the day, I don't really worry about stuff like that. 
Um, uh, whatever. To get back to their main point of number one, I thought that was crazy because when I asked him to explain to me how to vet, and he was like, "Yo, go to the friends." I was like, "So what if they're not associated with any of your friends? What if like there's one young lady um, that I was seeing that lives in D.C. She's not connected to none of us like at all." So I was like. How the fuck does that work? You know what I mean? Did you, you go don't on her vet page? Did you go down her page and did you see what her interests are? Of course are? I did. Her right. affiliations, yeah, what she talks so about. What if it's a known shorty that knows this mutual acquaintances you're going to ask around? Right, if there is some. But what I was saying, if you don't have any at all, you, a risk is a kill, risk. Please, kill it. That bitch done got me three times. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, yeah. Uh, Nick, that's a crazy thing. Vetting, if you can, yes, I suggest it. If you can't, I, I definitely feel idea. like you need to feel a person out over the phone. Da, 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 da. Nick, However, just use the yellow pages. The yellow pages? I mean, that's what it bugging, sound like. Super bugging. Super yellow, bugging. The yellow pages ain't even like it is the no point, more. The greater point be. that I was trying to get to is that, like, yo, like, it is very hard to decipher between somebody that has genuine interest in you and somebody that has motives because, essentially, everybody has motives at the end of the day. Yeah. So even like, you and, and intuition and security and security. even you, your Plays motive is to find out if that's somebody that you would like to be with or not. That's Facts. your motive, exactly. Period. But at, at, in that process, I'm not gonna take advantage of that person just because there might be an opportunity. And you wouldn't allow it anyway, so that's fine. Moving you know what on. I'm saying? So all right, um, I don't know, I don't know how that. Yeah, that was a weird thing you just said. But I'm going to let that slide. So anyway, we're going to go to a commercial, and we're going to end this up with our last segment. Y'all keep it locked. Every slam on bbcradio.com. Who is DJ Pill? April Love. You know what I'm saying? Morgan. Yeah. And me. You know, we still. <laughs> said, yeah. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. I'm Jeez, it's been a long... <laughs> Jay gonna sleep good tonight. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. First of all, I'm crying. As soon as y'all leave, I'm gonna cry myself right on that couch. I'm Yo, gonna... he's no. like, I had it with these <laughs> Nobody loves me. So anyway, um... Okay, let me see. Let me get into this. this. Ten things. Our segment. So, let me explain for Morgan, because she hasn't been on the show, and I'm quite sure she hasn't watched the podcast yeah, either. Here. Thanks for not watching the podcast, okay, Morgan. I'm sorry, guys. I've been kind of learning. I understand. I understand. I'm going to watch now. Lots of sex I'm and work. Sure. So, anyway. um, <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah, right. I don't have sex. This you week. have experiences. We get it. We get it. We get this it. Week, yes, this yeah. week. This week. Oh, my God. This week. Right. Real life. Mm-hmm. I only have sex mm-hmm. this week. It's only Wednesday. Yeah. It's always next week. Um, it's always tomorrow. I'll just wait till my trip. Ten things is a oh. segment where we will bring up a subject, yes. and then we will name ten items that will associate with the, with the title. So, okay. today's subject is yes. ten things. To ruin a relationship. And let me be even better because I just wrote this while I was at work and it was really a rush. The point I was trying to make is what are 10 things that you or another or your mate could do to ruin a relationship? There you go. Um, I'm doing it for two reasons. Number one, because it's going to be funny as shit. And number two My is I really want the, the viewers at home to think of the like, yo, damn, is that something that could ruin a relationship? Because we might think something is cool. So let me tell you the number 10 thing that could ruin a relationship is don't call shorty on the phone and say that there's a budget. And if she goes over that budget, <laughs> y'all going to have sex. So let me start with that. That's number 10. So, you know what I mean? I'm just giving y'all some information that I just learned myself. So. That's number 10. So, Morgan, what would be number nine? nine. What is something that you or your mate can do to ruin the relationship? Not being financially responsible. I'm making the money. Who cares? I mean, that's what she's saying. Her. Like, no, if you're not, if you're okay, you're making money, but if you're not financially responsible, then. Okay, what about this? I'm not financially responsible here. Take the money and pay the bills. There you go. That's not what I mean by being financially responsible. I'm going to spend that shit. So, I'm giving it to you. Pay the bills. I agree with that. Okay. Just give me my that's little thirty dollars every check. That's it. That's all I need. But I'm just saying, but hypothetically, but you have people that are not financially not responsible. So I mean, it's saying it can be, it can, <laughs> it's subjective. I'm gonna say right. I'm just saying like that's the solution. That's not easier. It, no, I'm not. But I'm, what I mean by not being financially responsible, you know, the bills got to pay, but you went and did something completely else than paying the bills. Right, right, right. I had to go to the strip club. You got four pairs of Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Why are you about to hit pills? Stop! Stop! Don't hit pills. If you know you're supposed to give me this amount on this day, but right. 
you don't because you want such and such things. I went out with the families. I'm sorry. Be responsible with your money. That's all okay. I'm saying. So that's like, a dope- I don't care. But, but it's like, hey, if you single, you can do what you want. But if we're together <laughs> in the household, then we're partners first. Right. This take care Facts. of your home Facts. first before you go out Facts. trick and do whatever it is. Then Make sure that now, that's what I mean by being. Come financial. home first of all. Your problem is pill. You should have took wifey with you to go see the titties. Because then she would have helped you with the budget. Mm, no, that's not true. Because then, never mind. Then he mm. can't cheat. What? What's wow, the Yo, I feel don't like cheat? every time. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me correct you, Pill. Every time that I've taken women to the strip club with me, I've always had a much better time yeah, it's definitely than if I went with time. niggas. It's I hate going to strip. I, you know, I realize I hate going anywhere with you niggas. Because you niggas don't never <laughs> have no fucking money. Y'all I niggas strip always club. on some I ain't even gonna lie. I always fucking shit up. I love the strip club. I know. I realize I only met one female that didn't want to go to the strip club. She wasn't interested in seeing women. I, I will what? fuck up a check in the strip club. I, I ain't even going right. front. So you're the irresponsible but one. But she was comfortable with <laughs> going to see. I ain't say that. Oh, okay. She I didn't fucked up some bags, Josh. but I also got I got my look growth. Yeah, yeah, you got it back though. Yeah. So all you did was just strip. So down I know how to make some money. So do you go see guy strip? I hate male strippers. That's mm. all right. That is not a subject we're getting into today. Number eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, April. Number eight, something number, that can ruin a relationship. Okay, something that can ruin a relationship. Number eight, if the communication is lacking, you don't communicate anything of how you're feeling, right. what you want, or what's going on, or why you're mad, but you expect the person to read your mind every time. Oh, I'm not a mind reader. Ooh. I will not be one. In but yeah, but with, com- with, with communication becomes comprehension, because if you can communicate all you want, but if that person don't comprehend, then you just like... Exactly. Well, you that. have to communicate in order for them to comprehend it as well. So if you compre- exactly. if you, you communicate it. it, make sure you can comprehend it in the way that they can understand it. That's why tell I'm me able- what you want because if you don't, how I'm supposed to know? I don't know. How I'm supposed to know? I don't like this. I would prefer if it's okay. Can we do it this way, or can you? What you did that day, I did not like that. And just give them an opportunity to give you the feedback to comprehend how they're feeling about it. And then we can get an understanding. Just communicate. A lot of things can be avoided in relationships if everybody could be communicating. Okay. So, pill number seven. All right. Don't get drunk. Put your dick on her lip. <laughs> it just, that, that's a bad idea. Uh, yeah. That's clearly a bad idea. Yeah, Don't yeah. do uh, that. That's actually good. I just learned about that one too. Uh, you can't just put your dick no, on her lip. No, you can't just put your dick on her lip. Ask put permission. Your dick on lip. You got to tap on her face with oh, yeah, it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake you, up. I gotta, <laughs> it's 530 in the morning and you waking up. Yo, can I put my dick hey, on your wait, lip? Wake up, damn it. This dick got to go somewhere. Is my dick in the box? Horrible, y'all. I hate both of y'all. That's so true. All right. Number six, uh, things that could ruin a relationship. Um, yo, qu- not having enough quality time, yo. And let's include sex into that. Like, yo, like I feel like it is so important to find somebody that you that enjoy spending time with. A and B, you got to see, make sure that y'all both have the same sexual appetite. Yeah, I actually dated somebody that didn't have a, a sexual appetite in general. So it, it it became frustrating after a while, and they genuinely was just like, "Yo, bro, I'm good," <laughs> you know. Not that I want to cheat on you, nothing. He was just like, "Yo, I just ain't, I'm just, I ain't, I ain't, you know." So like, and then when she got in her mode, she was in her mode though. Mm. She got in her mode. It was a mode. But anyway, so that's number six. So number five, Morgan. I would say you have to hold the microphone. Right? I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I it's apologize. no problem, dear. It's quite all right. Okay. You're way better than April is. She's just been. <laughs> She said somebody's gonna cut me up, chop me up, put me in a bag, and then even say it on the mic. I would say five, number five. Got mine. Mm, Give us the woman's perspective, like, because I really want guys to learn, because we are trash out here. We don't know nothing that'll ruin our relationship. We just be walking around and being sneaky, doing something. Okay, what is defined? What do you define as sneaky? Because some things we just do because that's our privacy. Doing something that. You know for a fact is not Wrong. right, and you're you know it's going to affect me some type of way. It's going to put a strain in this relationship. Right, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to say example. okay, cheating. I'm, that's we're trying to leave that for number right, one. No, 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 no. But that's... we are, but some people stay at the cheat. But I'm, no, a matter of fact, do you, number five, having a baby out of the relationship. Can ruin the relationship? I, like while you're together. Wait a minute, what are you saying? Meaning, I yeah. would say, all right, have, on a break. 
Then again, oh, get someone else. That's a break. Damn, y'all on a break, bro. That's a break. If that happened during the break, that's between me and the other How person. How long was the break? Was it the break a year or was the break six, two weeks or was it uh, a month? That, that might be that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if the yeah, break yeah. was three days, you just got short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, then you was already talking <laughs> to her. Right. 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 That's what I brought right. your girl and be right. like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo. No, she she called you because you ain't calling her. Yeah, but she no. called you just to check up on you and you like, yo, let me, uh, wow. let me uh, come through the crib real quick. Let's have a conversation. I holler at you And you like Yo what's going on Yo we gonna get it Oh you said we got... Nah bro Like I got You know I kinda skied it And went wrong. Right, okay let me go back Let me think Let me, let okay, me think Cause back. that was deep Yo you went real deep quick I, I did didn't, I didn't even imagine that To be the yeah, part that of the was, 10 yeah. Alright so we're on a break Don't have babies While you're on a break Okay gotcha Don't have yeah. Don't go let, let me clarify Don't go raw While you're on a break Why If you know you wanna get back Together because that's your girl. You don't want to potentially bring something if you just in. Your... It, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 sometimes it breaks. You never know if breaks. Okay. Let me tell you together. how women think. Raw is for committed relationships where both of you guys are checked out. So when you're not in a relationship, you should wear a condom so Absolutely. that way Absolutely. it doesn't. That's you don't bring something to the yeah. home, right? For yourself. All right. All right. Corona, Corona. Shit is getting ripped. Can you get on the mic, April, please? It's not, it's not no, I can't hear shit you saying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you see all of us with the mic close to us, and you got that bitch a mile away. Oh, uh, being, I'm going to say five is being insecure. That was my, okay. Mm. Took mine. You, can't, you put three No, you can't have five, nigga. Had, you just did five. Oh, she sorry, did three. Four. She did three in five. And she and put one, three right. different ones in five. Right, right, right. No, right. she gave me her mic. Let me get two mics. God damn, is this good enough for your oh, ass? Six. Is you this good six. enough for your ass? six. Um, no, oh, she's my ass is fine I'm without four. you doing anything to it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, give me five, April. All right, she's no, four. she was five. I'm five, she's four. You, you can't six, count. Man. This nigga can't count. No, you were six. Ten, nine, eight, Ten, seven, nine, eight, and seven, then back six. to you. Okay, six, five. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. I apologize. Okay, he did I'm this wrong. the last time. He did this the last time. He can't count. count. I can't count. Okay, number six. four. Things that can mess up a relationship. Morgan took mine. Just say it, girl. So, Just say it. No, wait a minute. No, okay. I got... um. And I missed, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll do this for the women. Okay. Women, make sure, ladies, make sure that you are pleasing your man there for your man. Yes. Don't send them out in the yes. wilderness to roam and get mad yes. when the baby, another baby mama comes home. Okay. Wait, wait, so wait. don't send in a clean up woman is what I'm going to say. Exactly. Just, you know, try to be a little more understanding. Be supportive. Supportive. Stroke yes. his ego. Stroke him. Yes. Stroke him and stroke him. Uplift. Yes. Yeah. Uplift your man. You got to breathe life into your man. Bre- yes. Breathe. Breathe be everything his, into let me tell you Be his something. peace. You know, yes. don't be yes. nagging, yes. nagging, nagging. Yo, Pick and choose your battles with you. him. Just try to, you know, it's make your okay, house a sir. home. I need to post this. Yo. It is okay to rub his feet and rub his and treat him like a king that he is. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. There's nothing yes. wrong with you. Yeah, take care of your man. Yeah. You know. Maybe y'all are be submissive care sometimes. Be submissive. You know, try to be submissive at some point, you know? Yeah. And apologize. And oh my apologize. God, apologize. <laughs> Apologize. He about to cry. Yo. This nigga is having a whole. Just fucking apologize. That's it. Sometimes they say to just look him in his eyes and say, "You know, baby, I'm sorry." Oh my god! And then I was give wrong. him some. And then suck his dick. And suck his dick. He about to cry. And apologize for stressing him. The he fuck gonna out. cry when he get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck a, fuck a break car. Break. I'm gonna cry now. Like, right, you gotta, he having a breakthrough. Yes, right? yeah. ladies, we gotta try Christ, to be yeah. there for our men because they go through a lot, especially our black men. Yes, so. no, especially with everything that's that. going on. Like no, they like don't believe that. Yeah, they, they get enough. No, 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 no. It's not that they itself. don't believe. They don't give a fuck. Oh, facts. Okay, there you go. Now, yo, I am one thousand percent convinced. Women don't give a. About anything that operates outside of their brain. Bro. Oh my god! It not just, all women, some of them. We don't have just, to argue about everything. Not ninety five percent. Just ninety five percent. So anyway, Pill, you are number three, sir. Oh, my number three is um, social media, yo. Being too overactive on social media is a huge turn off. Define. Define. Like we want them to be like you, Morgan. Never on there. Like- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he couldn't wait to say it got in there. He couldn't wait. It was an easy layup. That shit was so easy. I was just like, whoop. You know what I mean? Um, like, That's horrible. I'm Morgan, saying. don't let him do that to you. I'm not because my social media presence is not bad. Mine is. There's a difference ahead. between, you know, a lady in the streets, 
You know what I'm saying? And a lady in social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. So you mean you ain't gotta tell your followers when you horny or yeah, when you want like, some dick I don't stuff need like every every thought doesn't have to be on social media. Right. Right. Every one of your thoughts is on social no, media. No, fucking you not. On if you all day, know, listen, you know what? Fuck it, I got a thought day. right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. Isn't that what social media is for? To be social, but not overexposing it's everything. Over, it's over. Right, it's, so you don't I want to overly over, share. It's on... just overly dramatic. It's like everything has got to be posted. Like, right. yeah. like what okay, you eating, TikTok what is a new thing. At. TikTok is like I gotta post TikTok every day. I gotta post the Instagram every day. I gotta post the Facebook every day. Nah, I'm, I'm if it, I, I would say it like this: If it's your profession. Learn to draw the line between time that you spend on social media and right. the time that you spend in the real world. Agree. Um, I would also say that be mindful of what you're doing. Like I, I've been on quite a few dates where I, I, I tell, I mean, I don't tell anybody anything, but when I go out on dates, I put my phone in my pocket. Yeah. And I don't open it. Like when I'm with that person, That's I want to give that person my full attention. Right. attention. And I've been out on a few days where they'll be like checking their phone. Yeah. Taking stuff. pictures of their food. And I'll be like, taking pictures of their self. That, you sitting there across from that, like, uh, we right here. Much. That's, that's too yeah, Not that it happens to me, but I'm, I'm just like, saying. You know what I mean? That's, that's a but little But I'm very mindful when yeah, I'm out. Okay, I do. I get it. Like, because I've been in a relationship like this where you're out on a date with someone and they posting shit like they by themselves. That's a huge turn on. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. I get it. Ain't even paying your ass no mind. Absolutely, get it. Um, Can you take this picture for me? Like, bitch, I'm with you. No, I'm not taking no oh, picture of you. <laughs> Take a picture of me. Right. <laughs> Take a picture of us. Me. How about that? Post fuck, that. Don't fuck us, me. Yo, um, <laughs> number two, great way to ruin a relationship. Don't plan shit ever. If you want to, <laughs> don't plan shit ever. That's if not you want to ruin That's some shit, true. don't plan That's shit. That's not ever. true, Morgan. Don't have no, plans. I've come in. Because in the beginning, you don't plan shit. Don't but have if, oh, you're talking about you like in the beginning of a relationship? Grow, yeah, no, oh. no, I'm saying don't plan. If you want to ruin, if you want to ruin the relationship, don't, don't, plan. don't plan nothing don't ever. Nothing. Like, like, don't plan like how you gonna be with the person. Right. Don't have a plan. I agree with that. I agree with that. I just let it flow organically. Just yeah, organic is the worst way to do shit. Yo, yo. Or what you mean organic is the worst? Yeah, it's the worst. Let the shit just go. Just go. Because it's like now. Now you have no foundation. You have no You're foundation. just going, and it's like no anybody can come no in and just be like, whatever. Exactly. You have to have a foundation to stand. So you saying on. plan or don't plan? Plan. If you want a successful, if you want to ruin the relationship, don't plan. Don't plan. If you want a successful if, relationship, plan for that relationship. Right. Yeah. Not even just plan for the relationship, but when you're in after a certain point, let's just say once you get committed. Y'all should have plans. There should be plans to take trips. There should be plans Thanks. to spend time together. There should be plans for the future. Okay, gotcha. If we are to have gotcha. children, Understood. well, how many children are you expecting? Right. Or what do you want? What do right. I want? Do we want a big house or do we want a condo? Gotcha. Like, yo, do you, are you, do you want a sports car or do you just want something simple? Right. Like, you'll be surprised. Like, we need to make goals to work towards. And yeah. you, you create goals. Gotcha. I feel like that helps make the relationship stronger. When you don't have any goals and no planning at all, that ruins the that shit ruins out of it. Right. Because what will happen is in your mind, you'll be like, like, why isn't this person doing right. anything right. or taking us? Why aren't we doing anything? No initiative, no nothing. Right. Yeah. right. And then you start looking at that person like, man, they don't have no drive. They do have drive, but they just not sharing it with you. Right. And you don't even want to be with you because somebody that wants to be with you is going to plan. Put in work. And put put in effort. effort. Yeah. Correct, correct. Put the effort in. Yeah. So that was number two. Boop, 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 and drum Morgan roll. Boop, 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 I think I got something right No, that was not good at all. For number nope. one. Change one, one. Oh, that was even worse. <laughs> All right, none of these work. All right, let's just see it like that. All right, continue. <laughs> okay, I like that one. She was on her Hispanic shit. No fans. <laughs> um, damn. Number one, this is the the grand finale, the, the grand, grand finale. opening, and well, grand closing. Put in if you need help. I mean, you can call a friend. No, I said I'm a close. <laughs> you can use your lifeline here. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm going to say, what can ruin a relationship? <laughs> hey, girl, how do you ruin your relationships? <laughs> <laughs> What have you experienced in the past that you felt like had ruined ruined their relationship? Yeah. Ooh, I got some ill shit that just popped in my head. Wow. Because April um, said it and it made me it made me go right back to my first girlfriend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, um, spending too much time with my friends versus my significant other. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, that that definitely. Uh, yeah. yeah like well, that. wouldn't that go back to you? Okay, yeah. But. And let me add on to that. But what if I'm the type of person that needs to be away from you? The, that, however, it's a it's a healthy balance. Yeah. If 
we've been together for let's say two years, and I maybe spent intimate time. Not really intimate, but spent time with you maybe two times out of that. But I'm yeah. always with every weekend. I'm oh, with my friends. Well, yeah. With there's no date nights with yeah, us. Yeah, there's no. no you're mm, always with your friends. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, always yeah. with mine. Right. Where is where are we spending our time together? Facts. Like or their uh, birthdays. You, you case in point, a relationship I was in. Uh oh. It was just, it was a, a year of trauma. It was a great year. No, it was no. a horrible year. <laughs> so, it was it was his birthday. Okay. And he had a cookout at his house or whatever. Mm-hmm. I didn't get an invite. Oh. Wow. So, but all of your friends, like, I can see all her. Now, Casey Boy, if it was just you and your niggas there, I don't need to be there. Because yeah, you're enjoying your time with your niggas. That's a fact. But if you have the opposite sex, the females, it's, it's oh, an yeah, open yeah, party, yeah. but your girl wasn't. Who doesn't yeah. want to spend that birthday yeah, yeah, with yeah, their yeah, girl? Babe, by law, has to be there. Babe, by law? By law. Okay. By law. Yeah, by that's violation law. 101. Like, if I bring my homegirls, you having to cook out, come, we're going to shoot right, shit. Right. 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 But then I'm sitting like, damn, and everybody looking like, damn, where your girl at? So he must have been right. in another relationship. That's a violation. Is that what you're saying? No, he no, was no. You he just wasn't. created a whole. No, he nothing. wasn't in another relationship. It was the fact that he did not want me around. He just had he other people hidden. there, right? And not her, which was females and males. I can see if he was. Now, that's one thing. Like, if my home, if my nigga just with his friends, I'm not going to invade his property. You with your friends? I don't need to be there. So right. they was just his friends. There was no. He had other women there. there. They're they're just his friends. Tennis on deck. Your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm making some noise. And you, your right girl not enjoying the festivities like she just home. I'm coming. I'm coming to you after the festivities. No, you're not. That's I'm be a drunk. Rant. That's he's a rant. That's violation one on one. Coming to see my girl. No, nah, that's violation. That's, that's, that's violation. I'm sorry. No, like first of all, I'm the type of person. I'm planning some shit for my nigga for his birthday. Right. But even still, this is like years ago though. But it's just the point. Like it's your birthday. You but it's not just your niggas. You got. Everybody is there. Gotcha. Right. Just Except for you. Except so for what the hell? That's a little suspect. Yeah, Morgan, yeah. if you ain't married in the next year, yo, I'm murdering somebody. Thanks, yo, you got to. Circle for real. That's gotta crazy be. for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She will be. I want to I wanna shut up. I want to <laughs> add I wanna add something to your thing is, and there, this is a balance. There are certain things you got to learn what to talk to your friends about, about the relationship, oh. and what to not Talk to your yeah, friends. Yeah, absolutely. Friends. I learned that. Oh I learned that. Like, I learned that. Real beef needs to go to your... You need to go to your partner with the real problem. Yeah, right. Now, the small little stupid stuff, like, yo, you need to talk to your homegirls about that. You know what I mean? Like, so, so like, I think that shit is so important. I always say, I, I'm scared when a chick tells me I don't got no female friends. I get super scared about that. Or they don't have no friends at all. I don't got no friends. I just be by myself. I think that's bad. Because you leave a person to their own mind all of the time. They don't know what the hell, which way is up. But a woman with a healthy friendship circle, or even a guy with a healthy friendship circle, they are going to be able to pull that person up when they're doing something stupid. Yo, ain't nothing wrong with your Yo, you acting stupid right now. Chill. Right. You need Yo, that balance. Yeah. yeah, you need that balance. But when there's something going on, for real, for real, you need to go to your partner. And y'all need, you need to, that you need to learn how to have an argument. I don't know. And to yo. be able to get a positive res- re- re- resolution out of that discussion. It's a gift and a curse. Because say you got friends, but they're not. I mean, I guess you can have the wrong friends. Yeah, like, you know don't talk saying? to stupid friends. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The friend that got eight kids and shit. And nah, it's not even nah, that they stupid. It's, them, it's the friends of, yo, you're always right. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You're always right. Yeah, that's not that's you know not what I'm saying. Like, and and and, and that person is too blind to see. <laughs> Tell that, me out on my bullshit all the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and that person just too blind to see that. No, I, I'm probably am really wrong. You no, know, my friends are telling me I'm right, but I'm wrong. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like a gift and a curse to have you know friends in your friends in your. That's why I because say keep your relationship problems to yourself up. because you may forgive your person and they they, they still and they mad. And that's why, yeah, you gotta be you gotta be real. Mind. You gotta be selective or what? My family is. and my homies is like that. They're like, yo, they they be like, yo, I don't fuck with that nigga because I said one thing that they ain't do right, and they just like never gonna take that person out of that yeah. box. So that's why you gotta be selective. Like you gotta, yeah. Asking for advice is one thing, but venting is another one because it's that's you, a fact. So it's like that's a fact. It's like, yo, you venting to you, and they're like, all right, fuck that nigga. We don't like this. I don't yeah. like the way he treating right. you. Right. And if only, and every time you come to your friend is with negative shit about your partner, right. they're going to form, formulate this opinion and they're not going to like them. Yeah. Right. So you have to be mindful of what you're saying. You're like, it's okay. If you upset, go write in a diary. Mm. 
Go mm. write in a diary. And sometimes your friends, they be plotting on your relationship because they don't have it. Mm. Or they're so bi- in a bitter space, they don't know how to healthy, mm-hmm. to be in a healthy mindset to help you figure out right. your situation. And that's a lot of times because they've that's never true. been in a healthy relationship. Right. So exactly. they don't even know Or never been in that situation right. to tell you how right. to do it. And I tell my friends, it's like, babe, I don't, I've never been in this situation, so I don't know. I want. I'm always telling my friends, do what makes you happy. I'm with. I'm with the shits with my friends. We hate this nigga. We hate this nigga. We ride for this nigga. All right, I was rooting for him. You cool. All right, bet. Boom. I'm that friend. Yeah. But I'm also gonna tell you, like, all right, this is getting a little bit excessive. What you gonna do? I'm never downright. I've. I've not. I'm not gonna say. I've told my friends, yo, leave this nigga alone. Leave him alone because you keep hurting yourself for your own sanity. Leave this person. Have alone. you ever said to your friends, what did you do wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like um, you wrong right now. Stop yeah. doing this. If you want this, stop. Okay. Like my whole, I tell her, stop doing this. If you want different results, okay. Fact. Stop right. doing it. Mm-hmm. And then she do it again. Shit again. Now you, I'm like, and now this shit is getting repetitive. It's getting on my nerves. I don't want to hear about it no more. Right. That's exactly that's what you gotta do. Keep that, that shit to your motherfucking self. Same. At this point, like you know, like yes. you gonna keep crying and keep crying. The same. Doing the same thing, thing over, over and over again, and accepting over. a different result is insanity. Oh. insanity. Change your way of don't thinking. Don't call me, please. Don't call me because I'm. That's the only time I hear from you. Right. When it's all good and y'all going good, I don't hear shit. Don't call me anyway. I don't hear from you for a whole two, three months, and then once shit bad, I hear from you. Uh I'm telling you, April, I'm going to give you two minutes to talk. Then she's going to cut you off and talk about her for 45 minutes. I'm just playing. These are jokes, people. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I always give you great advice, don't I, Jay? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. (laughs) We appreciate it, all you guys, for rocking out with us. You know what I'm saying? You'll regret you said that. Exactly, exactly. What and remember, it's, I'm glad it's recorded. April, I love you. You're nah, awesome, son. Nah, son. Nah, so son. You gotta be so Because I always fam. give you great advice. You, you do give me advice. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you, but Jay does give great advice, though. He, I, I, I was on the phone with Jay for an advice. hour. Oh, he does that with all his girlfriends. Yo. Damn. Damn. Oh, me? Like, yo! Hey, bro! She got a whole situation. I ain't trying to get shot out this bitch, nigga. Damn. No, I'm not talking about girlfriends she like that. She got entanglements, my nigga. Entanglements? No. Like, no. Like, Morgan knew what I was talking about. You got, I said girlfriends. You got girlfriends? No, you trying to turn me like into a girl gay nigga. Home girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Girlfriends like that. Jay has a lot of girlfriends. Like, he does. Female friends. Female. Home girls. Home girls. Home girls. Home girls. Home girls. Homies. The niggas. I, get it. I don't the have niggas. entanglements, by the way. I get it. You, you said I you need an entanglement. I, well, I didn't say that. I said I don't. You, you need said an had... entanglement? Yeah. So I need some excitement. Can, can we call it a situation? Yeah, it's a situation. Situation. Well, right, right. well, entanglement is a situation. Right, 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 right. right <laughs> shit. Right, right. Shit been chill so, for too long. I need an entanglement. It's not hard for you to find an entanglement. I know. I need a healthy entanglement. Not hard. I need a healthy, a healthy entanglement. It's really I'm out there. Ain't nothing healthy about an entanglement. That's true. Just pick one. I want an entanglement with understanding. You guys saying? What's understood ain't gotta be explained. Oh yeah, good. Well, that's the end of that show. You guys have a great day. <laughs> yeah, right. Every Slounge. Exactly. That's JS1 the supplier. Yes, it is. That's Morgan. Yep. <laughs> that's April Love. Yep. And I am who is DJ Pill. Yep. I'll holler at y'all later. Yep. Peace. Give out your social medias, uh, April. April Love's music on Instagram and Facebook. Pill. Oh, um at uh who is underscore DJ Pill. And I am Morgan Pretty. M O R G N. P-R-E-T-T-Y. And I don't want y'all to follow me right now. I need some time to heal. <laughs> so don't even worry about my joint. At J, that's the number <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, he needs some time to get his shit together. I need time together. to heal. I've had enough. I've had enough. We love DMs. We love y'all. We'll hit y'all next week. Y'all have a good night. Peace.